Hi, this is Skip Sullivan. I'm the director of Let Me Be Frank. It's my first film. The development process for the film was remarkably fast by Hollywood standards. I came aboard as director in late December of 2018. I think it was December 20th when I was offered the job. And Kevin made it clear that he wanted a Christmas release, which struck me as surprising since Christmas was four days away. But Kevin said there was a news story about to break in a few days and he wanted to get ahead of it. And did I want the job or not? And uh, of course, it was an amazing opportunity. So I, I jumped at the chance. We weren't dealing with a studio. We were shooting on video. And it was a very small crew, uh, really just me. Uh, I was the DP as well as the director, which is not as unusual as it sounds. Soderbergh does that. What was unusual is that I was also in charge of sound, lighting, I was the production designer, the set dresser. I asked my girlfriend Jenny if she could take charge of craft services. But when, when she, Jenny showed up, she, she realized it was a Kevin Spacey project. I, I'd forgotten to tell her. And she, she left the film and me. <laughs> but I don't quite know what happened there. She's not a fan, I guess. But getting back to the origin of the project, I'm primarily known as a videographer for hire. I shoot a lot of weddings, uh, high school plays, gender reveal parties. I have flyers posted throughout L.A. And last week I got a call from someone claiming to be Kevin Spacey. And at first I thought it was a joke, one of my friends pulling my leg. So to make sure, I said, if this is really Kevin Spacey, what is the name of your character in Capex? And without taking a pause, he said, Prot. And he clearly hadn't Googled. So this is not actually Kevin's house. This is my apartment in North Hollywood. And uh, I bought that Santa apron at Target. I was also the costume designer. Kevin provided his own shirt. And the people you hear in the background are actually a sound effect to create the illusion that we're at a Christmas party. And I should mention that that uh, crowd sound is from freesound.org. They're a great resource. I recommend them. You can find anything on there. And this particular party crowd sound effect was uploaded by Soundman73. But I just want to give him credit since Kevin didn't want credits in the film. Uh, it was a non-union shoot, so there really was no reason to have them. You might not actually notice this, but this is all one take. Uh, there are no cuts in, in the film. I'm a huge fan of Orson Welles, uh, particularly Touch of Evil, where he has some Really magnificent, long, uncut scenes. Gives the mise en scene such energy. Oh, this bit where Kevin puts a ring on his finger was his idea. That's uh, apparently a reference to a TV show he was on. Also, shooting without cuts saves time. We started shooting around 1 p.m., and Kevin had mentioned he had to be out by, like, 1.50. Anyway, I'm really happy with the way the film turned out. Oh, this musical sting at the end I got from a dramatic hamster video. I'm Skip Sullivan, and thanks for listening.